Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's have another look at Raishes in the arena, and this time we'll take a closer look at my team. Again, here's a disclaimer up front. This is not a team that I would use to aim for top 25, uh, so any advice that you have to make this team better is unnecessary. All right, but first, let's look at Muraga. He's here kind of just as an attacker and bruiser, uh, but there are the stats there. And then we can have a look at like the effect of uh, Trustmaster runes and then sub vision cards. But we got uh, 33 slash resist, that's nice. Uh, 30 lightning, so he'll be pretty good against Cloud. And then a 55 defense. And we have uh, Muraga's helm. This is not maxed. We have the, uh, the slash resist 8, that would become 10 at max. And then also earth attack and then hate. So he'll draw a little bit of hate in the beginning, but he's not going to use the uh, attract blade. And then here is a Muraga's Axe Trustmaster, upgraded by Trustmaster Runes, so very crazy attack and HP values, but nice dexterity too. And then a bonus buffs, Berserk Resist, max HP up, dexterity up, slash resistance, dark resistance, defense penetration, reaction rate down, lightning resistance, and then defense break resistance and then slash attack up and then that uh, reaction rate down is grayed out because they don't stack bonus buffs don't stack and then set bonuses we see attack up defense penetration up hp up element resistance up and then those are not bonus buffs so those will stack all right and then uh, odin esper uh, we got the Earth Vision card here for more like Earth attack up, accuracy up, slash attack up, defense up. And a slash resistance penetration for himself. I'm using the uh, Screaming Muraga card because it is a uh, bonus for this week. And we can look at kind of the lowered buffs for being a subvision card. Uh, but 18, slash attack up. Earth units will get critical rate up 18, and then attack break resistance of 13. Okay, next let's look at Raishas. And crazy magic on her, almost 1600. Uh, but some defense and spirit too. Uh, we'll get her resistances. Let's see, 20 to projectile, it's nice. 28 to magic. Uh, water and earth and lightning has some nice resistance. We got the uh, Craftable Sword, plus four. The uh, Soul of Thamasa, more magic. And then Magic Resistance and Magic Resistance Penetration. And then the uh, Trustmaster from What's-His-Face. Uh, crazy HP here too. More magic, more dexterity, good stuff. And then for uh, bonus buffs, we have Dark Resistance. Max HP, Magic Up, Spirit Penetration, Doom Resistance. And a lot of these are not uh, leveled yet. Uh, don't Act Resistance, Magic Attack Up, that'll work with her um, Drain Evoke. Strike Resistance, Wind Resistance, and then Light Attack Up, that won't apply to her. <laughs> uh, but there, I have the Magic Up three times. Uh, the idea in the far future is to use them on different characters, maybe switch them out for uh, different skills. Uh, Tupon Esper for Slash Attack Up, and then Magic Up, and then the Water Vision card here for Agility Up, Projectile Resistance, uh, Magic Up, Defense Up, and then Lightning Resistance. And then the Siren Vision card as the Sub, Magic Attack of 18, Fire resistance up 10, water resistance up 5. And change the uh, reaction ability to counter magic. Alright, and then here's Selez. She'll be the real tank, uh, magic tank. Uh, but about 50 defense and spirit, that's pretty crazy. Uh, resistance is here, slash 45, projectile 26, magic 40, very crazy and then 15 or higher on a lot of the elements. OK, 
Okay, we got Pod for more agility and uh, single target resistance. Here's the uh, Persona craftable item. Uh, ice, water, and slash resistance, all up 10. And then I have the uh, the shield type, so uh, get some nice defense from that too. And then Celes is a uh, trust master. I don't really have the, uh, the runes really uh, leveled for this one, so we're not seeing as much uh, effect on these stats. Uh, but ice resistance, gained AP up, Defense break resistance, magic attack up, fire attack up, yeah. And then set bonuses, max HP up, all element resistance up, magic up, and then spirit penetration up. And then the uh, floaty ball, Esper, for some reason I can't remember, defense and the uh, slash resistance. And then vision card here, magic up, or magic attack up rather, critical damage up, casting time down, spirit up, magic up, very good. And the Fenrir vision card as the sub, so magic resistance up 10. And let's see, max HP up 8%. So that is my team. Still, I don't think it has great synergy with itself, but I was having moderate success with it, so let's use that. And we'll look at uh, three, four more uh, fights here today. Okay, first... Let's go against a cost 100 team. Let's see if I can make this a uh, take your cost 100 units and get out of here a moment. <laughs> but yeah, that is a very strong team that I am facing. But actually, I have not had a lot of trouble going against Arstoria. Okay, but all the uh, same usual buffs that I had in my last arena showcase. Uh, but there's haste from uh, Barris on both him and Arstoria. Magic up, protect and shell on Barris. And then Arstoria, he casts like uh, on hit, he will absorb some HP. That's from any hit, even a regular attack. Okay, let me break on Muraga, but that's not bad damage. Okay, hate up on Sela's single target resistance up. Okay, man eater attack. It's pretty good damage on Oberon. And let me break from Arstoria. All right, not bad damage on Sela's, but he has the follow up attack, uh, which is enabled by his limit break. Okay, Drain Evoke. Nice range there on Raishas. Take down Oberon. Okay, big damage on Celes. Still standing, but the follow-up attack will take her down. Okay, Maneater again. Good damage. Arstoria should have Guts. Okay, I guess he did not, actually. <laughs> we'll take him down there. That's with the uh, small AoE attack, the one that I said that uh, Raishas would use most often. Okay, Drain Evoke on Barris. Heal, Magic Buff, Slash Resistance, Penetration up. And there's a Knee Breaker from Muraga. Height, Cure. And Water Blade. That's not even Water Gub Blade, that's Water Blade. <laughs> But I was happy that she used it so that we could have a look at the uh, Spellblade uh, attack. But yeah, take your cost 100 units and get out of here. <laughs> okay, next we'll go against uh, Fire Heavy with Lightning. Uh, that is Queen, the uh, handout unit for Persona. Uh, she is a uh, strike-based attacker. I think overall she has not made as much of an impression as some of the other handout units, but she's solid. I don't think anybody that um, levels her is going to regret it. And then we can also have a look at uh, Tina, Terra, from Final Fantasy VI. I think she's definitely the least uh, remarkable of the uh, Final Fantasy VI units, but she's very solid. I'm very happy to have her. 100% uh, hit as well, which is very needed in the, uh, the current meta. 
Uh, but Salas, she should take the uh, magic attacks well from the two magic users, and then Muraga should be able to handle Queen fairly well. But although we have the uh, Rune Blade up, cannot absorb it, so Salas will just take the damage. All right, Man Eater attack on Queen, lots of damage there. Magic Reflex from Waterga. Okay, big AoE attack there from Classy Glassy. But thankfully we have the Guts. Okay, there's that uh, small AoE attack. Lower reaction rate. Take down Queen. Okay, Magic Buster. That will lower magic damage. That's good. Uh, Merton. 100% hit, but absorb. Big AoE attack again. Absorb that. And Limit Break from Classy Glassy will not absorb that. Okay, not bad damage though. Okay, Drain Evoke, very nice range there. I've seen Celis called a sub attacker, but I've never really seen her do great damage. Maybe I'm just uh, building her wrong. My Celis doesn't have a weapon, for example. Okay, Fyga Blade from Spellblade. Okay, that's not bad damage from Classy Glassy. Uh, Raishas does have the element advantage though, so that helps. Okay, job level 25 skill, two hits. I guess no critical, so I didn't get the uh, AP heal, but took down those guys. Okay, next, let's go against Mono Water. And we'll have another look at uh, Arstoria. And in the uh, Raishas uh, review, I said that she would do best with like a tank or a tie-up unit. And then, uh, yeah, there are a few tie-up units as good as Falm here. I have Falm, she's at limit break 3. I might want to uh, take her the rest of the way so I can pair her with Raishas. Okay, Guts on Muraga. And then uh, Ildura, job level... 25 there, I think. Her healing really gets uh, emphasized with her EX Awakening. Uh, there is a uh, resist on there. I think all resistances except for uh, Slash and Magic. Alright, Magic Buster on our Astoria. That also has the big AoE. Okay, Accuracy and Critical up on Falm. Let me break from our story again. Let's see if it does more damage here. Okay, yes, it does. <laughs> and follow-up attack. Still got the uh, protect barriers, however. And absorb that magic. Okay, there, Raishas must have been out of range of everybody. That was an accuracy break from Falm. Uh, short range, slow attack from Muraga. Good damage, but the Guts follow-up attack. Height to Kiraga. Okay, small AoE. Take down those two guys. That feels good. <laughs> and then a lower reaction rate, so Falm had less chance of a reflex there. And then take down Arstoria. Alright. Okay, last match. Let's go against Mono Light. This might be an evade team. Uh, in Raishas' uh, review video, I didn't talk up her uh, evade hunting enough, but that is something that I would like to uh, try her with. Maybe I'll do one more arena showcase with her and then evade hunting team, and then go after Locke and uh, 2B and people like that. Uh, Raishas does not have any 100% hit attacks, but she might be good enough that she doesn't need them. I want to uh, find that out with my next arena showcase. Uh, but hopefully I can get that out in a hurry so that I can start doing videos about Setia. <laughs> Alright, but there we'll absorb the uh, arcing attack from Jaden. Okay, that's decent damage on Muraga there. 
Nope. Magic Reflex from Jaden. Uh, but still, we will break Area of Effect Resistance. And that's a really nice uh, kind of break on Sela's. That can really set up my other attackers, uh, especially Reishas with her AoE attack. Alright, big damage, AP break from... What's her name? Violet, Violet. <laughs> uh oh, there goes my Reishas. Uh oh, there goes my Muraga. Okay, Magic Buster finally break the magic on Jaden. Nope, oh, there goes my Salas. All right. So there, I was done in by the Evade and the Reflex, I think. But yeah, I have been very satisfied with uh, Reishas. And then also uh, Muraga with uh, the recent buffs, like his Helm, and then uh, Trustmaster runes and stuff. He's gotten really good, so I've been having a lot of fun using him. If I wanted to take this team to the next level, maybe I would trade out Muraga for Oberon, maybe? But I'm having more fun with uh, this setup. <laughs> Okay, next videos, maybe do an evade hunting team with Reishas, and then after that I'll start doing videos on Setia. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.